Okay, I don't do this often, but necessary. to eat here but it's closed no you wait because we got some treats for you she paid 90 pound for a duvet i did say that we were gonna buy loads of um autumnal slash halloween october stuff but christmas stuff is already taking over all the like october stuff is on sale which is great but also a lot of it's not there so i'm gonna go back another day when it's less busy because I think going in the afternoon was not a smart move. But we did find a couple of bits. Got this beautiful candle. How sick is that? I'm sorry. I'll definitely be reusing this um, once the candle's burnt, but it's also got the wooden wick, which means it's gonna make crackly sounds. It was five pounds. And then we got this one, which is really cute. Didn't love the smell as much. I mean, I really don't like the smell of this one, but it just looks cute. So if, if we don't burn it, we can still empty it and use it. Little iridescent orange pumpkin candle, it's so cute. <laughs> you gotta get a bit of tack to go with the cool one. To be fair, the two smells together kind of works. Maybe we just burn them at the same time. And then, Bronson doesn't know that we got him some toys. Guess what? Why are you getting so big? I love you, you're being so cute. We've got a surprise for you. You're gonna love it because tug of war is your new favorite thing. Oh, I wish you guys could see his face properly. Oh my god. What is that? Wait, does that one squeak as well? Yeah. Can we get it? Can we get it? Yay! <laughs> the way his ears go back. Are you happy? We've got a little tug of war toy because it's your new favourite game. Are you trying to hump it? Do you fancy the devil? He is the devil. <laughs> well, you found your, your soulmate. you got to get the squeaker. You haven't realised yet, have you? Okay, I'm legit on another planet right now. I was like in and out of a nap for like the last an hour and in and out of a nap for like the last hour and a half. I had a really, really bad sleep last night as well, so I'm just like <laughs> I don't even know what we last vlogged. Boo was looking at boxing gloves. We ordered some Thai food, had that. He's gone climbing. I was editing and I literally fell on the seat. Oh my god. <laughs> And I literally started slipping in and out of sleep on the sofa. But like, because I'm in the living room, you can hear people like walking past the hallway. So every now and again, I'd wake up in a state of fight or flight because there'd be like a door slamming or Bronson would like bark. So yeah, I just feel absolutely disorientated right now. But one thing I want to do, get the duvet on the bed, the new one, because the old one, I put it in the washing machine and it literally like came out with like burn holes in it. I don't know what I did wrong there. What are you doing? <gasps> Naughty. Always taking my lip balms. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't find any sheets or like duvet covers that we like. We still need to get new pillows as well. Oi, this dog is crazy today. Sir? No. Move it, move it, move it. <laughs> Why do you look so funny? Speak. Good boy. You're so smart. Ow, you vicious dog. <laughs> I didn't realise duvets were so expensive, but I was also saying to my boyfriend that like, I think it's time to invest. I don't know anything about duvets apart from like, the higher the tog, the warmer it is. But um, hello. I just want bedding that is so comfortable that you have like the best sleep ever. I've got my Emma mattress. I freaking love this thing. But yeah, when it comes to bedding, I have no idea. I think we've got an anti-allergen one. We've got a king size, even though the bed's a double because we like it to be like a bit bigger. And also there's two of us, so. We don't want like somebody taking too much of the cover and there's not enough left. Apparently it's luxurious comfort, which I am ready for. I want that hotel bed kind of feel. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Do you know what? It does have that like crispy kind of crunchy hotel duvet feel, which I'm all here for. Like this is exciting. <laughs> 
Kindle at hand. Oh my god, we need to talk about books as well. I've read so many books recently on my Kindle. I'm freaking obsessed. I'm so back into reading. And this is the perfect flat for it as well because when it rains, it sounds really nice in this flat. And it just, just the vibe of this flat is everything. So I'm excited to like get my candles lit and read. I haven't read that much whilst being here, but I have just started Verity by Colin Hoover, which I actually have the physical book of. And I started it back in London, but it's in storage somewhere. I recently read the Seven Husbands of Ev Evelyn Hugo. It was so good. It was so good. I couldn't put it down. <sighs> oh, look how sick this room looks. It looks like I'm in a hotel room. What the hell? Also, really, really desperate to figure out a bedside table situation too. We did have the option of keeping the ones that they had here, which were cute, but I think we're going to need something with drawers or like storage to have as much like little bits of storage as we possibly can. I think I'll definitely have a look online for that very soon. For the other room, the spare room, I still haven't unpacked those bags, you guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm just so tired all the time. You know, what? Oh, that's nice. Thank you. You're still not getting up on here. I think we're gonna sort out like one of those Ikea DIY wardrobes, maybe that kind of situation for part of the room. And then we're gonna have the rest of it as like an office slash studio, which is so exciting. This is final. like, I've had my own flats, but I've not had the option or possibility of doing this because of like so many different things. And it's so exciting to finally be able to like, just really have it how I slash we want it. Um, excuse me, the cheek of it. The cheek of it! You naughty boy! You know you've been naughty as well because you won't even look at me. Oh, now you're going to give me a kiss because you know you're being naughty and you just want to like use your cute looks to your advantage. Hmm? You little chicken giblets. Come on. Off. You're not allowed on here. Off, 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 off. Woo! Good boy. If you guys have any recommendations for like homeware or cool places, I feel like you guys kind of know my vibe. Also like things that are good for storage slash small spaces. I look like I'm about to start an OnlyFans video. <laughs> okay, see ya. We've just ordered a feast. <laughs> I got some veggie dumplings in black pepper sauce. Never had before. Vegan crispy mock chili beef. Never had it before. It's all right, you know. Salt and pepper chips that don't really look like salt and pepper chips, but they are really good. Curry sauce. Randomly got some free egg fried rice. Yeah, very excited for this. Why is that kind of cute though? get nervous dyeing my hair i feel like still waiting for this side to develop fingers crossed it's all even and comes out all right because otherwise i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm filming a hair job today so this better go right maybe it was a bad decision doing this right beforehand but at least my brows look cute i'm loving having lighter brows i think it looks so much softer so the hair dyeing situation didn't go as well as it could have it lifted a bit but not enough i feel like the back is good but oh, why are we so zoomed in i'm gonna have to re it i think i think i just did it a bit too slapdash maybe didn't get my measurements right didn't put enough dye on i left it for about 40 minutes so i don't know i'm gonna have to redo it i'm not gonna do it today because i don't know if i've got enough developer left so i've ordered another one to come in tomorrow so hopefully i'll have that figured out tomorrow i need to go down and pick up a parcel i've ordered a blender i've been trying to order it for ages for some reason they kept cancelling my order because i'm in the uk i don't really know why but this time when they sent an email saying the order's been cancelled they said but however we are stocked in selfridges so i went straight to selfridges online and ordered the blender which i think has arrived today so i'm gonna go down and grab that in a minute and then i'm gonna get started on this because that is still a situation. It's so bad, it's so bad. I feel like there's still so much more clothes that I need to get rid of. I've just been watching another Dharma documentary whilst I do my hair. Sorry, also, can we just appreciate the fact that the ceiling is concrete? How cool is that? So yeah, I'm gonna go down, grab the parcel, and then I think I'm gonna get cracking on sorting out the clothes, because I, I hate it, I hate it. I don't know if you guys can tell, I don't think, ah, oh, there you go, it's currently raining. There's not much else for me to do. I was gonna go to the gym, but my body hurts. 
my body hurts. Also, for those of you guys that keep asking about the transformation video, how I dyed my hair, I tried to start editing it. Wait, I'm not saying I'm not doing it. I tried to start editing it and I'm just kind of like unsure of how I want to do the editing style and I really need to cut it down and just make it a bit more precise. I feel like I was all over the place in that video so I'm just trying to figure that out but it will be coming. Also, I feel like I need to refilm the ending so once my roots are fresh I can refilm the ending but it is coming I promise because I do want to show you guys how I did my hair because it's fucking expensive to get your hair done at salons and if you can do it yourself then why the hell not you know but also I'm not a professional if it doesn't work for you we are different and I'm sorry. literally Mount Everest. I don't know how to tackle this. Um, I think the best way to do this is to separate all the jackets and coats and then fold all the tops, jumpers, trousers, etc. and then go from there. dog walk turns out oh god another fossil i think it's some halloweeny slash autumny bits unfortunately there were some other things that i wanted to order from amazon for the season but by the time they get here it's too late so haha -ha! why have i got two of these this is so cute a little mug that says witch's brew on it how cute is that it's like a little cauldron obsessed how cool is that hopefully i'll be able to find the other things that i wanted to get like this little pumpkin toy and stuff like a stuffed toy but you could use it as like a pillow or something and some other bits in town but i don't know if it's really looking lightly you know what i'm saying not me wearing my boyfriend's hoodie that is three million sizes too big i actually bought this for myself got it in large thinking oh i usually wear my hoodies in large but it literally drowns me like it's fucking huge i gotta get back to tidying up the clothes and i really really don't want to do this but you know we've got to do what we got to do to survive baby firstly i just want to apologize for how i've looked in the last few clips i'm just trying to keep it real with you not every day makeup and slick back hair and cute a lot of the time messy hobo chic <laughs> without the chic part i'm taking myself to the gym this morning it's about time I'm on my business, that chicken like what it's gon' be Crew in the cut, hey, you want us to run when I tell a peace Love is love, love is love, I do Bend up, bend up with the switch again Boy deliver like he heffin' it Call with digits, give him estimates Summer sauce for my Benjamins 
I got, I got what you need, baby. Skirt the Chevy, make a scene, baby. LA BB, been the team, baby. Bim Bim Papa, word the G, baby. Look, lab till I'm finished. Had a handful of lemons through the hand. Got a bag, now the hands in the business. For my hand, it's a ticket. Talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I've been playing with the minutes that they been should have gave. And I'm flipping every digit that they been should have paid. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> Just called the lift and it was full of people. I had my vlog camera out, which looks ridiculous, obviously. It's huge. The door opened, the lift was full, and they were all like, I was like, haha, I'll wait for the next one. That has written me off. I wish there was more plugs. Why are there no plugs here? <laughs> Oh my god, it's been so long. Also, just to note, this is so smooth. Mm. I think I'm obsessed. Hey everybody, welcome to Dying My Roots round two and hoping that it works this time. <laughs> Wish me luck. Also, how beautiful is this bathroom? The fact that there's direct sunlight coming into here as well. For everyone asking, I'm gonna give you a teaser. This is the color I used. Okay, I'm gonna get naked, almost, and get dye in. Because last time, I completely ruined my clothes, so. Oh, also, I blow dried my hair this time in hopes that it would be a more even application. It doesn't even look, it's so weird, because like some of it right at the front has taken the color completely. So depending how I have my hair, it looks like it's worked, but you guys can see my roots are still not the color they should be, so. I'm gonna get cracking, because I want to be able to wash it out before the sun sets, before it's dark, so I can actually see the true results and then I'll have to do the rest of it tomorrow. about a week later now. I've finished editing the vlog. I realized I never actually ended off the vlog. So this is what I'm here for now. Just wanna say, I am friggin' obsessed with my hair. Although I am convinced, yeah. There's roots already. It's been a week. I mean, I'm super grateful that my hair grows fast, but also like it's been so long that I haven't really had to dye my hair consistently. That I forget how much hassle it is, but it's so worth it. I'm so freaking in love and the color's even brighter this time I think. I did end up pulling it through my ends a little bit again as well and I'm just in love. Like why is my hair just not naturally this color? Why? It would be amazing. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I can see myself having this hair color for a long time, not gonna lie. But yeah, I just wanted to end off the vlog and say thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry if this one was a little bit all over the place. I feel like it's kind of a representation of where my head's been at. I'm good. I'm just like, oh, there's so much going on all the time. If you made it this far, first of all, thank you. Um, but be sure to comment. Let's switch it up this time. I think I'm gonna ask you guys to comment the emoji that represents how you have been feeling the last few weeks or the last week. And yeah, let me know what you'd like to see from me. Thank you guys so much for being here. The response to my vlogs lately has just been insane and I've just really been enjoying it. And I think a lot of you guys have noticed that as well. So I just wanna keep the ball rolling. I'm having so much fun and it's so fun like interacting with you guys and just sharing my life and things that I'm loving. So yeah, thank you guys for being here. I love you all. Um, and yeah, I will catch you guys all in the next one. Until next time, peace.